Did you know that King James VI of Scotland, who was the son of Mary Queen of Scots, was known to prefer the company of men? At the age of 13, he fell madly in love with his older male cousin. The affair caused quite a ruckus at the time, as the young king would openly embrace and kiss his love in public. The Scottish ministry feared that the young king would be drawn into carnal lust by the relationship. Oh my! <laughs> Although he later went on to marry and have children with Anne of Denmark, his continued preference for men was so well known that Sir Walter Raleigh reportedly joked that King Elizabeth had been succeeded by Queen James. <laughs> How fabulous! In fact, he continued to have male favourites throughout his life. One such favourite was Robert Carr, the Earl of Somerset, who later went on to attempt to blackmail the king by threatening to reveal that they had slept together. However, his last and greatest favourite was George Villiers, with whom he exchanged a large number of love letters, many of which still survive to this day. In his letters, he repeatedly refers to Villiers as his wife. In one he wrote, I desire to only live in this world for your sake. I had rather live banished to any part of the earth with you than live a sorrowful widow's life without you. When the king finally passed away, Villiers was still there by his side. 